Ah, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, a rare upstairs uh, shed update. Now it's gonna be a, uh, a short, uh, not a whole lot of a upstairs shed update. But I do come up here when it's uh, cool weather and uh, a little bit each uh, weekend. I try to uh, put back the way it was after the uh, after the tree hit the shed on Father's Day, 2023. Then let me see if I get about about right there the corner that's where it uh plowed the uh the corner of the shed put a big hole in it we had to come up here and uh whoa we had to uh come up here and uh move everything you know my little stand here is just not what it should be uh we had to move things uh you know stuff was getting wet and I had to pull that and then uh, we had to get it uh I had to pull a little bit more so we could get the patch in there fix it where don't leak and then uh basically everything was on the floor i had to put back on the shelf and then i'm gonna have to try to like just get a, do a section at a time and pull it down and try to uh, redo it it's a little bit of a chaos uh but the other side ain't too bad i i got a thing and uh, uh you know put things back up you know boxes do uh model boxes don't tend to stack too well and uh, it's uh, trying to uh, got a lot of pans on the, in the fire, you know, trying to get everything. But one thing I did want to show up here, I didn't do it last time, and uh, is I did put my uh, B29 wall clock up here. I do like to uh, uh, things I do build. I do if they don't get sold or reused for other purposes. Uh, things that I do have up here, you can probably see where the tank is. Um, there's uh, things that I have built. Uh, I like it filtered through here. I think it, uh, I'm gonna say, tells a story, but makes uh, makes everything with you know model kits, built up kits, and it just uh, filters in through my collection and uh, everything else. But anyway, a uh, quick shed update. One thing is, I come up here and, or downstairs up here to is. Uh, sorting separating but i also like to incorporate uh i won't say non-models with models and that is and you all should have seen it the last time uh the fast and furious cars uh they claim to be one thirty second scale and i acquired a, a new one today and that would be the jurassic park jeep and i have this in the 24 scale one and i thought wow I like to have the uh, 30 second scale one to go with because X plus has one 35th scale uh, dinos thought that would work out really really well to go with that so I like to incorporate stuff but they say these are 30 second I I let me get that one. we'll get a uh, 30 second scale Barracuda here I think they're 35th my personal opinion I chose this one for the color of the plastic and I don't know if you can see it all right I got the bumpers together you notice the 30 second scale scale car is longer and uh, a little bit wider but not by much but uh, I think the car kits are 32nd scale, but I think the die cast ones are 35th. They're just a tad bit smaller. You could probably do 32nd, but I'm more 35th scale is what I think. But anyway, I think it works. Uh, I think it's close enough. I think it uh, will work out really well. Because uh, I do like the uh, 32nd scale. I do like the 32nd scale kits. I think they're... Uh, I think they're just the right size. Uh, I know everyone likes, I know the 24, 25th scale ones are good, bigger kits, but I think these are an overlooked scale, I think. I think you could have a, you know, a bunch of these. You know, they were real big in the 70s and 80s, but not really you know, today. I know Atlantis does a few uh, reissues, and I've picked up some, but, but anyway. I do like to come up here and... Uh, you know cross reference and uh compare and contrast and uh add to the collection you know stuff like that so we're adding a jurassic park jeep to 
uh, the yard. Uh, well, I was digging around. Uh, this is one of my first sculpts, and uh, uh, Pizza the Hut. And uh, I was leaning toward, and I got some uh, pizza, uh, like carvings or sculpt marks in here. I added some like pepperoni uh, things, and I did this like 15, you know, 15, 16 years ago. And uh, I was trying to uh, now, you know, there's styles of uh, sculpting, and everyone's like, uh, uh, you know, trying to be, you know, totally exact. But ever had like a uh, I don't know if y'all know the Shiflet brothers. They have a, a distinct style in sculpting. Uh, uh, Kit Kong's mansion. Uh, there's a few gentlemen there that sculpted for him, and they have a distinct style. And that's what I was trying to do with him, trying to have you know not totally you know 100% accurate, but trying to uh, have something where yeah, Pizza the Hut, but you also have you know uh, something a tad bit uh, you know don't necessarily have to paint it, Pizza the Hut or make it you make something else out of it you know but anyway that was something i did uh of course you know solid resin uh that i did many many years ago learning how to do things learning how to sculpt and uh you know trying to make him a you know because you only saw pizza the hut from the top up you know but anyway something i was just uh tinkering with plus kind of wanted to make it uh they you can get resin uh space ball figures and i was trying to uh scale it with the, the figures because maybe one day i will have the space ball figures i do not i always thought that they should have made them but anyway that's something uh uh digging around and find and thought well yeah thought i'd share pizza the hut so we got a couple more things oh, where to put him uh, running out of space things falling over you have to come up here and push kits uh, make sure they don't fall over because Bottle kids like to go forward for some reason, but anyway, we'll put him up. Uh, so we're still running through the uh, uh, model show stuff, and uh, again, no one no, I picked him up. 35th scale uh, uh, Union and Confederate American Civil War figures. These are old Vell kits, which they're basically, I always call them Green Army Man. That's what they are. They're pretty decent. I mean, they barely... Uh, some of them really are excellent in sculpts. Some are like, eh, you know, might add, but I like them. I don't think they're, you know, they say they're 35th. These are 32nd, 54 millimeter. But anyway, that, you know, that's just me. But anyway, I pick stuff up like this, especially Civil War stuff, since that's, uh, you know, they don't talk about it anymore. And uh, I try to pick up stuff like that. I like stuff like this, so uh, I was happy to uh, pick these up at the model show. So, uh, uh, do I even have some? Surely, somewhere buried in here. But anyway, uh, we're adding some more Civil War uh, stuff to the yard. And uh, for the last one, ladies and gentlemen, because we got tanks, planes, and a few other things that we'll have to uh, do at a later date. But... Uh, the one last plane that I picked up was the MPC uh, 24 scale 109. Beautiful box, too. I mean, it was uh, well preserved. And uh, I got a few over there that are uh, boxes are shot. But again, you know, it's all there. Bag, too. I even like the uh, uh, pre test fit with the tape. Of course, you know, decals have a shelf life, so, you know, them will have to be uh, replaced. But anyway, you don't see 24 scale vintage kits. You do and you don't. Uh, most of the time you don't, but I try to pick these up for the big scales because uh, you just don't see them. And, you know, uh, some of the studio scale stuff is a lot of the 24th, you know, and some is not. And uh, I just think... Uh, the MPC 109, I think, builds up to a great kit because I have built one many, many years ago. And uh, 1977. Vintage. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got going on today. Uh, very quick light uh, sh adding to the shed. I'm up here basically trying to uh, 
restack and uh, try to, uh, I do like to uh, peruse and look at stuff and measure, make sure everything and, and add stuff. Make my collection my own. Uh, that's what I like to do up here. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got going on today. We are adding kits and uh, that's what I got going on today. Stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.